With the addition of the latest 1.5 update, we can now play around with all kinds of fun builds that are extremely powerful. Stardew Valley doesn't really have any diminishing returns, so you can do some pretty fun stuff if you stack a certain stat. So I will show you 5 really fun builds that actually work. Please let me know which build you like the most in the comments. I think my favorite is definitely the first one and you will see shortly why. And if you like this video, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and it's free. The first one actually surprised me quite a bit. I was not expecting this, but I am so glad I found it. It's quite hilarious. If you are the kind of player that doesn't really want to deal with the enemies in the skull cavern, but you are still forced to enter the skull cavern to get some iridium ore for sprinklers and other stuff, this build is definitely for you. This is a full knockback build. You will be able to knock back enemies so far that they are flung off the screen at an incredible speed. It actually knocks enemies back by so much they are effectively out of aggro range. So if those pesky serpents annoy you, just hit them once and they will be flung so far that they won't be in range of you anymore and won't chase after you anymore. It works best on flying enemies, but you can also yeet a slime away too. To get this amazingly fun build, get an infinity gavel. The enchantment doesn't matter too much here, so just pick whichever you prefer. I think the artful enchant is always a good option for any hammer, but the vampirism enchant would also make a good alternative. Next, you will need to enhance your infinity gravel using 3 amethysts. These will increase the knockback amount by quite a bit. My infinity gavel has a weight of 25. That alone is insanely high. But naturally, we can take this much further. Combine 2 iridium bands with 2 amethyst rings. Each amethyst ring will increase your knockback by 20%. Doing all of this results in this incredibly fun build that allows you to knock back enemies so far that is actually funny. I have dedicated a video on this build but I have a minor change and now it is even better and that is the ultimate unkillable defense build. In my testing I was just standing around allowing serpents and slimes to hit me. It actually took so long for them to bring my health down and eventually when my health was about to hit zero one of my rings activated and I instantly boosted back to half health. This build is actually crazy in how good it is. This build is also for players who don't really like the combat aspect of Stardew Valley. With this build, you don't really need to worry about timing your attacks or worry about dying because you just won't die when you use this build. To get the maximum amount of defense, it is recommended that you use a dwarf sword. You can find the dwarf weapons in the volcano by defeating enemies or opening chests. Just like the previous build, your enchant doesn't matter too much here. I went with the crusader enchant just because I got it. But the vampirism enchant would work so much better here. Then you can heal up whatever tiny bit of damage you take. For the enchantments, use 3 topazes. These will further increase the total of defense on your dwarf sword. And lastly, the rings. I combined 2 crab shell rings with 1 phoenix ring and 1 ring of the yoba. The crab shell rings gives you plus 5 defense per ring and you can get a crab shell ring by defeating 60 rock crabs in the mines. Then you can buy it at the adventure skill. You can craft the ring of Yoba once you have reached level 7 combat. It costs 5 iron bars, 5 gold bars and 1 diamond to craft. The phoenix ring is a little bit harder to get. You will have to be lucky and find it in the volcano, but it's definitely worth it. The ring of Yoba has a chance to make you invulnerable to damage for 5 seconds. The chance of this buff occurring is highly increased based on how low your health is. And your luck is also quite important if you want this buff to be activated often. During this discussion, I was just standing here and letting these enemies hit me and I'm just not dying. The high defense bolt just works really well. I have also made a video on this one before so I will just go over it very quickly. This build will allow you to destroy enemies and then they will explode and hurt enemies close to them as well as destroy the rocks that are close to them. First get the infinity gavel, enchant it with the artful enchant. This will allow you 
to use the hammer special move more often. Then enhance the infinity gavel using rubies to increase the total damage. With the rings I can buy 2 iridium bands with 1 napal ring and 1 warrior ring. You can get the napal ring by defeating 250 serpents in the skull cavern. It's not that hard to get but it can be a little bit annoying. Then when you want to defeat some enemies use your special move and in the animation of the special move you can spam the button for normal attacks to increase the damage of the special move. This is a fun little exploit that we can use to make defeating enemies quite easily. And with the napal ring, we can quite easily find ladders without using our pickaxe. I was actually quite surprised at just how effective it was at finding ladders. The next build is for you trigger happy players that love to stand in one spot and swing your sword as fast as you possibly can. Yes. This is a maximum attack speed bolt and it actually works out quite well. The best weapon here is the infinity blade. It already has a speed bonus and the extra range from this weapon is quite useful. Enhance it using 3 emeralds. The buffed infinity blade will have a speed bonus of 11 and then combine 2 iridium bands with 2 emerald rings. Each emerald ring will increase your attack speed by 10%. You can attack so fast that it's actually kind of crazy. No enemy will stand and a chance against you with this build. This build sacrifices some damage for faster attacks and I gotta say, it works out pretty well. Let's end it off with a crit one shot build. I will be honest, I don't really like daggers that much in Stardew Valley, but the Iridium Needle is actually really, really good. The Iridium Needle has the highest critical chance in the game at 10%. And with the Desperado profession that you get from level 10 combat, you can pretty much one shot any enemy in the game. To make this work, you kind of need to maximize your crit chance. So enhance your Iridium Dagger with 3 Aquamarines. These will increase the crit chance by 4.6% each. Then combine 2 Iridium Bands with 2 Aquamarine Rings. Each Aquamarine Ring will increase your crit chance by 10%. This should be around 45% total crit, but as you can see in the gameplay, it feels like I crit way more often than just 50%. It's actually quite effective. and most of the time, I can easily one-shot any enemy. The only thing I don't like about this dagger is the range. It has a very low range and it's quite easy to accidentally take damage that could have been easily avoided. And those are 5 really fun builds in Stardew Valley. This video was quite fun to make. My favorite build is definitely the knockback build because it's just hilarious at how far they fly away. I'm not too sure how effective it is compared to the other builds but it's definitely the funniest one here. If you liked this video make sure to give it a like and as always I will see you in the next video.